Hey everybody, it's the Vic Dust. Time to know you can run here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. Hope your weekends are going off to a great start. We're waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes. We're getting very, very close on a few of them, of course. Mostly thanks in part to all the Rock Bottom episodes. But hey, you know what? That's Isaac, baby. Here's your amazing picture of the day sent in by Sensei Stranger E. Tile thread was a, a 0.75x video thingy. And then they also said, I'm doing one for the mosh pit while getting my breakfast. Got my smart TV, Samsung tablet, my phone, and my old phone, which is being used for the photo in the moment, uh, that I use as Chromecast remote for apps uh, that my TV does not support. So I got myself watching some, some Victa time watch time for you. That's not... Well, got So got myself some watch time for you, some Victa. There you go. That's what they said. So thank you very much. That is... That is definitely the most screens that we've seen thus far uh, playing on 75%. We did have that one that had, like, the person who worked in the office building, like, just changed all of the videos to that, which was very awesome as well. But I do like how this one is kind of adjacent as well. Uh, C Day is going to be Delta, Foxtrot, Bravo, Papa, Victor, Zulu, Kilo 7. We've got the D in Fizzle. Uh, we also have, we got Mr. Boom, which is, or uh, Boom, which is great because it gives us 10 bombs. However, we do not know how much HP we have. Although, although, we do also have, although, um, a, the Hollow Heart, which is going to give us a Bone Heart every single time we go into a new floor. Oh. Unfortunately, we have no idea how much HP we have. This room is also just god awful. Uh, thankfully, our tears rate is okay. Our damage is not, but. You know, we're going to make it here. Shot speed is very, very bad, but our movement speed is okay for now for starters. And, of course, we also have the D in Fizzle, which we can go ahead and probably just use the D4 right now. Because, uh, obviously, ooh, wow. obviously, we don't want to reroll our stats with the D100, but we could use the D4 and give us something better. Because, like, obviously, we already have the benefits of Boom, right? So, that's a that's a great that's a great band name, by the way, the benefits of Boom. Um, we could... Well, okay, things are getting interesting here. Um, obviously, I don't want fruitcake, but I do want to re-roll. Now, that being said, we just got the mystery gift, which could give us an opportunity to re-roll something in the secret room as well, um, which may start pogging off here. So I'll have fruitcake there, just kind of drop a big old holy beam. So yeah, we want to be looking for the secret room if we can. We do have to be careful of fire mine, though. There's a concussive tear making Dingle go crazy. So why am I not re-rolling right now? Well, I kind of want to wait until after I know what for sure whether or not we're going to use the D6 on the secret room or not. Um, we have to find the secret room first. And with nine bombs, there is absolutely zero chance. And I mean zero chance that we don't find the secret room. There's the turdy touch shot there, and there's a the holy light shot. Okay, so the secret room is most likely... I don't know. Got to be careful here because, again, we have no idea how much HP we have. Where's that old secret room? What's going on here? Thank you. Right there? We have ourselves a very weird map. We know it can't be... Obviously, it's not there. It can't be there. We just tried it. It can't be anywhere adjacent to here because it's a skinny room. It has to be between the shop and the item room. It's the only legal place it could be. Okay, so we got one of these weird secret rooms. Maybe it's under the shop? Is it under the cursed room? That's the only other spot that I can possibly think it could be. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. We got there. Emperor card, nice. Hermit card. Okay, so let us see. I do actually kind of want the soul hearts from Pandora's box. I'm just going to go ahead and use them now. It's free two soul hearts. It's basically the same as us getting... And or, or getting two soul hearts in the uh, in the red chest. Okay, so let's go back over here. Let's grab the mystery gift that we put down. We're going to use this in the secret room. And then we at least have one item pedestal to re-roll with the D and Fizzle to maybe get ourselves like a death certificate and maybe get rock bottom. Uh, man, if we get rock bottom again, dude, this is, this is officially rock bottom week. Okay, so it's... Samson's changed. I'm just going to go ahead and use this now to save myself some time. People might call that lazy. I call that smart gameplay. Okay, so then finally we're going to use the D sizzle here um, because we want to re-roll the contents of Samson's Chains. 
Yeah. Not great. I mean, it's something that we can re-roll. Um, lost contact does not count as a secret room item, so at the very least, we're going to be able to, like, we, we'll, we'll for sure not get, get locked into, like, a, a missing no or a TM trainer, trainer or something. I gotta be real careful of fruitcake here. Real careful. Fruitcake, you know, it gives you some random stat, some random uh, shots every now and then that can work out for you. They don't usually, but they sometimes hurt you occasionally. Actually, a lot. Okay, so we have plenty of HP. You saw Hollow Heart kick in there. So I think the next obvious choice here is that we are going to reroll on this floor. Uh, it's the matter of, it's just a matter of like, what? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to use the D100 obviously because I do not want to uh, reroll our stats. Even though our stats are kind of doo doo, they could also be way, 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 way more doo doo, thanks to the D8. Uh, specifically, so don't want to do that. Oh, that was a little, that was a little Reed's eye shot there. So let's get to the D4. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our Bomba. Okay, 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 mate. Please don't do that. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to re-roll right now. Uh, well, we got damage. We got damage, we got HP. We did also get Blood of the Martyr, which is fantastic. Uh, not too crazy about uh, having multi-dimensional baby. I mean, not that he's bad, of course. It's just not really what we want right now. But that wasn't a bad re-roll. Wow, we're getting hooked up on money. It was not a terrible re-roll. Fat on Mushroom did kind of nuke our movement speed, though. Um, and now I am starting to get a little bit nervous about Shielded Tears actually being from the secret room because so is Fat on Mushroom. So you got to be real, real cautious when re-rolling with items from the secret room pool because obviously you can get screwed pretty badly. And you can just automatically tell. We, we haven't taken damage up to this point and all of a sudden we lose movement speed. We just take... Uh, two hits of damage there, so we try not to use, try not to lose this H, this bone heart from our HP. Uh, we know the secret room can't be there because it's blocked by pots. <laughs> and we will have another for a reroll after. Well, we can reroll the devil deal for sure. So now here. Here comes the, the proverbial question once again with the D4 or the D100 or anything that you can use to reroll Isaac. When do you stop? Um, it really comes down to personal preference. Do you want to have these items for the rest of the run? Do you think you can do better? Do you think you might do worse? Is it worth the risk? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 15 cents for five keys is a fantastic uh, deal for us. Look at that. We get, our, we get ourselves a bomb too. No, let's splurge a little bit. Let's get a red heart. Let's Let's, let's go crazy, you know? Getting a little crazy. I probably should have actually shot those poop, but I don't think it would have mattered anyway. We so we had to use two bombs to get this chest, and we get another heart. Okay, okay. Again, a very odd room here, odd map for the secret room. Uh, Stigmata is going to be again more HP and more damage. I don't know if the secret room is here or not. It is. Wanted to bomb my way out out of pure disgust. I am going to just use the Emperor card now. We're not going to hold on to the Emperor card for the entire run. I think that's psychotic behavior, um, especially on floor two. Like, maybe if we were on, like, floor five or six, then yeah, but floor two is that's a, a little bit much for me. So our damage is very good now. Trying to get some help here for a multidimensional baby. I'm just going to do this and haunt. If you run into it, it's your own fault. Ooh. 
we get squeeze and good tears upgrade here and we get gimpy in the nail which is not a, that's not a good band name <laughs> I don't know why that one got me. <laughs> Hello, San Antonio! We are Gimpy and the Nail! <laughs> Opening for the... Uh, what did I say? The, the re-roll of Boom or something? I don't know. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and D6 this one here. Okay, we got... We, we did get another Tears upgrade, which I'm down for. Um... We can go get that. We can go get that full charge and then reroll cursed eye inside the secret room and see what comes out of that. Thank you, everybody. This has been Gimpy of the Nail. We love you. Good night. Just a just a god awful band name. What the heck was the other one that I, I I've already forgotten? It was something. It was it was something a boom. Very nice. To get ourselves two soul hearts here. So, yeah. I mean, we can still continue to re-roll this. You know, I'm not married to any of these items for sure. Um, although our damage, our DPS is quite good for where we are, but our movement speed's kind of bumming me out right now. Super secret room's right there, but we, have, we don't have any more bombs, so that's okay. Curse of Blind, well, if we're going to take items, we know for sure that we can at least re-roll them now. I re-roll them, I mean, by way of uh, the D4. Yeah, there goes the heart, because we do not have the movement speed to deal with an open eye globin. So going on to last week's question of the episode, by the way, I haven't, I haven't even read it yet. I apologize about that. A question of the episode from the Soy on the Rocks episode came in from SuperMonkey1362, who said, question, what is your favorite Isaac transformation and why? The obvious answer is going to be obviously Guppy, if you didn't know. Guppy, then Spun. Um, you know, just, be, just from a strategical standpoint, that is the easiest answer out there. Um, you get flying, you get the mulligan, you get all kinds of stuff. I mean, there, there's no... When we talk about no downsides to Guppy, we mean zero. It is all good. It doesn't matter what build you have. It doesn't matter, you know, what items you're you're rocking. You will always be able to get benefit out of Guppy. For you, Mom's key. Okay. For you, two of clubs. Okay. So that's the obvious ones. Um, the other transformations, and we talked about this before. You know, they're just not. They're not interesting enough for me. Oh man, Parasitoid's very good. Um, especially with this, our luck rating is not too too bad. Um, I do want to have a reroll ready to go for the Devil Deal, just in case. Grab that Soul Heart here. We'll wait for a multi-dimensional baby. Didn't even have have to worry about him uh but yeah so that's the uh that's the answer to that question very easy question to answer obviously uh the second most upvoted comment uh came in from b -b 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 daddy dude 1337 uh, who said question how do you make a boring item like mom's knife not boring but still keep its icon status I'm not sure what that means um I'm not sure, like how, like how would I make a boring item less boring? I personally don't find Mom's Knife that boring. It just doesn't have. It's not really. It's not really Mom's Knife's fault, right? It's the lack of synergies because of. It's a lack of synergies of surrounding Mom's Knife that people don't like, and that's it gives the perception that it is a boring item. What is this Ghost Baby, and Duality? All right. Well, let's just see what this turns into right here. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, that's the that's the problem with that a lot of people that have with Mom's Knife is that it has the perception of being boring because obviously it does a lot of damage and it's it's got a very one dimensional style of play. You know, you you throw out the knife, it stabs things, that's it. Now, for all the stuff that Repentance did that I didn't like, one thing that it did do very well was add more interesting Mom's Knife uh, synergies, namely Mom's Knife Tiny Planet, which we all know and love. We have Cracked Orb, apparently. Wow, this is real bad for the shot speed. Um, yeah, we, we do this immediately. We got Leviathan. Oh, no. Well, we go from Ludovico to Anti-Crav Tears, so your boy's going to be rerolling this as well. Um, but as far as, like, what would I do to change it, I would not want to... I wouldn't want to change the functionality of Mom's Knife. The only thing that I would say that would be slightly interesting, and this is just... This is just like a like if we had to do something to it other than give ourselves like more more tears effects and that sort of thing. Um, I would give Isaac a stabbing animation. So you can use the knife as a melee weapon. I don't know where you keep coming from death batteries, but I'm down for it. Yeah, brittle bones. Uh, we have skeleton key, which is not doing anything. I oh, man, I love tech one. I think it would be very cool to give some kind of stabbing animation to Isaac. Um, you to use it in this in a similar manner to like how the how like Samson's like uh, donkey jaw works, or how the Forgotten's uh, bone throw works. You know, you can use it as a club or throw it. I think that sort of stuff would be very cool. It'd be neat to see Isaac have a stabbing animation, and maybe the stabbing animation has like synergies. Um, Maybe it does, like, double or even triple damage. That would be very cool. But obviously, the downside of that is that you have to get extremely close range for it to, for it to matter. Excuse me. I was going to say. Oh, my gosh. Getting hooked up, hooked up something fat here. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I would do. Oh, we have camo undies as well. That's what I would do to... If, if the if the question is what would I do for a perceived boring item like mom's knife and turn it to something not boring uh, brimstone you know brimstone is another one that people kind of uh, they kind of malign a bit over just because they don't like the they don't like the fact that it is so it's so one-dimensional um, and again I understand why people why people some people don't like it they want to see the spectacle or they you know they, they just want to find something interesting or whatever um, Repentance also added a lot of synergies for Brimstone as well as Mom's Knife, which I think is, is a step in the right direction. Um, now, that's not to say that we're ever going to see another one again. Um, I doubt that, but, you know, you, you, I mean, you never know. I'm trying to figure out where the heck the super secret room is. Ultra secret room. It's got to be here. It is. Look at that. Right. It's Invicta Smart. Invicta Smart. It's a bad idea. It's a, it's a bad. I couldn't even see myself. It's a bad idea. It's a bad item, but I'm gonna take it because obviously we're gonna re-roll again. Camel Lacquer Tech One does have a synergy though. It does that? And obviously it comes with a very nice little damage upgrade, but yeah. After us getting a little chat here, we're definitely going to be re-rolling this. And let's see what we get. Sizzle! Sizzle! How you doing, little sissy? Uh... Wow, our damage is horrible. This is just god awful. God awful horrible. We might have to start using the D100 now. Because, man, these stats are not getting any better, that's for sure. But we got Little Sissy. Also got Chaos, which is interesting, but also scary at the same time, because 
You never know how chaos is going to interact with rerolls. Wrath? What the heck, dude? But yeah, this is this is no longer this is no longer for funsies type type deal. We have to reroll into some better stats because all this rerolling is not improving our stats at all. Um, and we're also getting to the point where we need to think about stopping rerolling. We get a certain a good one. Um, now, as much as I as much as everyone loves Sissy. She knows. She knows. And she loves you for it. She knows that you have to do what you have to do to make sure that you win. And in this case, I think re-rolling is definitely going to be um, in the game plan. So Sissy, Sissy knows it. She's okay with it. She's just proud of you for making your own decisions, and she knows that you're doing what's best. Thank you, Sissy. We got Leviathan again. Didn't get any HP. We did get Brimstone. Uh, speaking of Brimstone... We have Echo Dama, but Echo Dama is not present. Oh, there it is. It's because we weren't in an active room. So our damage is very good. We did also get Goat Head and Host Hat, which is also pretty good. Um, oh, but we have the Eye of Greed, though. This is a Tears Up pill, thanks to EH Dizzle. We need a couple more, a couple more cents, although. I don't know if we're going to stick with this, to be honest. I mean, we definitely should. We should. Let's wait until. Let, let's see what we can get out of. Uh, out of the devil deal. Yeah, I agree. Does I have. I have bad. Okay, there we go. We can go get that balls of steel pill. And we don't. I have greed all of it away. Hollow Heart's actually legitimately kind of huge for us right now. Balls of steel. Okay. I am happy that at least we have Leviathan to give us flying here. Yeah, this damage works. Get H Pizzle. Oh, mama. Three item pedestals here. We love Pogatory, but give us some give us something massive here. And curse the blind. Well, luckily for us we weren't getting boss rush anyway. What is going? Oh, it's the broken stopwatch. Yeah, see that? That's that's disruptive enough for me to not want to stay on this run. Even though the smart thing to do is to stay with this, with this brimstone run. We're not looking for per perfection, necessarily. We're looking for functionality. Does this function? Yeah, sure, it functions. But I think we can do better. I hope we can do better. If it gets worse, then you know what's on me. This is this is turning into a D Infinity reroll fest. Oh, that's going super slow. Yeah, see, broken stopwatch. This is why we can't have nice things. This is gonna restart the room. Got TM trainer. We are exploding. What is exploding me? Well, um, yeah, we got to get out of here. And uh, remember how I was talking about, like, how you got to be real careful about re-rolling with the uh, secret room items? 
Yeah. What is happening? We have lots of fans everywhere. Get me out of here. Curse of the XL. So it appears that we have some. It appears that we have something that affects, that bombs us when we pick things up. I guess I should feel lucky that we have Tech X somehow. Can't fire. Cannot fire. No, I'm not picking up anything. So the smart thing in my opinion to do is to bomb through as many doors as we can because we don't want to pick things up. Now, we are on Curse the Maze, of course. So this means that we are going to inevitably probably get screwed by, um, yeah. Oh, oh, we erased Globins. The random eraser proc. Okay. Yeah, this is a, this is no longer, this is no longer going to be a fun a fun existence here. We have to we have to get out of this run. This is what TM Trainer has to offer. Get out of here, Isaac. No, I don't care. This is why you cannot re-roll with a secret room item. Just don't do it. If you care at all about winning. If you don't care about winning or streaking or anything like that, then sure, go for it. Have a blast. But this is one this is one of those times where it's the most terrifying thing in the world. We are getting very fortunate that Eraser is taking out a majority of the annoying things. You may notice that we're never ever holding a charge on our space bar item because um, it keeps it just keeps being used over and over again by Eraser. That's a very frequent effect of uh, TM Trainer. Okay. Thank God we have all these orbitals here. I think we er Did we erase the tears there. I can't. I can't actually fire. Game. Okay. I think we're spawning things that are immediately getting erased. It's gonna hit me. Who cares? <laughs> well, this Saturday sure turned scary, didn't it? We're not out of the woods yet. We still don't have no clue what any of these items actually do, other than the fact that if we pick up a if we pick up a pickup of any kind or item, it makes us spawn a mega a mega war bomb and also we get damaged. So let's not do that. Also, every time we shoot, we apparently make a big fan sometimes. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what we have to look forward to on TM Trainer Month. Except that every item that we start with is uh, we're going to be we're going to be taking TM Trainer items from from the beginning. And I'm also going to be picking up every single TM Trainer item that we get. It doesn't mean I have to keep them. Like if we have a particularly powerful space bar item, I can I can hold on to that, but we'll at least pick up the other ones because Team Trainer uh, kind of makes you do random things. I don't know if you're realizing that or not. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this?
Can't fire. <clears throat> I also don't know if these big fan are real or not. I don't know if they're actually big fans or not. Okay. Well, these eraser shots are definitely, uh, definitely helping us out and clear out a majority of these rooms. Oh no. We got hit and now we have the unicorn stump active. Okay. I don't think we're actually a wait, wait. If we get hit, we can pick up things that we drop and then make mega war bombs show up. If you're wondering where all those holes are coming from, they came from the mega war bombs. Maybe this is the right way to go. We can only hope and pray. All bets are off. When TM Trainer shows up, all bets are off. We have no clue what's going to happen. But I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to spawn the Mega War Bomb, but it's not happening. That's okay. Either way, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm very happy to get out of this uh, this fight uh, as fast as possible, just because TM Trainer. But if you want to see an entire month with one run a month like that, or one one run a week like that for TM Trainer month, make sure you're clicking the like button, leave a comment down below. I'm trying to get these videos to 3,000 likes plus, and that gets another another tally on the like streak goal. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, everybody. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then. So long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I like the patrons of mine like Marcelo Flores, Taz Bryant, and G Ben Gaijing. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.